welcome back if you are new to our channel welcome in this channel we profile explore and discuss many topics related to countries places and people around the world if that interest you please consider subscribing today we are going to explore our first south american country known as gateway to south america colombia i usually start the video by showing the country on the map first but with colombia i think it's important to clear any misconception we might have about the country have you seen any movies or narcos on netflix about colombian drug cartel i watch them too it is terrifying yes they were somewhat true Colombian drug cartel were once a very powerful organization that devastated Colombia killed so many people infiltrated government and businesses but the country that exists today is far from the dramatized version of 80s era of Colombia in the past two decades Colombians has worked very hard to secure peace, minimize crime, protect its democracy and grow their economy. Now let's look at today's Colombia. Colombia is a South American country borders Venezuela, Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, Panama, Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. It is the 25th largest country by area and the population is 50 million. Colombian currency is Colombian peso. It is divided into 32 departments. Capital and the largest city district is Bogota with a population of over 8 million. Medellin is the second largest city located in the Aburra Valley in the Andes region. Cali is the third biggest city. It located closer to Pacific Coast. This is Colombia's flag. The top half is yellow. It represent the amber gold found in the country. Blue stand for sea and the sky and the red stand for all the blood spill fighting for independence this is the coat of arms the shield symbolizes two oceans and two ships symbolizing commerce the phrygian cap symbolizes freedom and liberty the cornucopias one with fruits the other one with gold and silver symbolizes colombia's agriculture and mineral wealth the pomegranate in the middle represent the colonial past andean condor perched on the shield Holding olive crown symbolizes freedom. It also been a significant symbol of indigenous Andeans. The country's motto liberty and order on a scroll placed on the shield. How are you doing so far? Are you enjoy learning about Colombia? Next let's go to physical geography. Colombia is a transcontinental country as the political border between Panama and Colombia doesn't follow the geographical border between North America and South America. Colombia's territory also include archipelagos of San Andrea, Provincia and Santa Catalina. These islands groups are in the Caribbean Sea near Central America. It has a population of about 60,000 people. Colombian territory also include many coastal islands on both Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean. Notable ones are Gorgona Islands on the Pacific Ocean. It used to be a high security prison, now it's a national park home to endemic species. San Bernardo Archipelago is a small group of island in the Caribbean Sea. One of the island is Santa Cruz de Lote. It is a densely populated island on the earth. It has 12 hundred people 90 houses two stores restaurant and a school the houses touches each other the whole island is covered in building now let's focus on mainland colombia it include very different landscapes including flat coastal lowland and these mountains river basins swamps and even desert the andes mountain dominate the western two fifth and break up the country into regions that are isolated by the southern border andes divide into three separate ranges western central and eastern and continues toward north these mountains are rich with lots of minerals like emerald gold nickel iron ore coal and petroleum colombia's most important river magdalena flows between the central and eastern ranges and empties into caribbean sea the eastern plain account for the three fifth consists of two different zones the southern part is amazon river basin of tropical rainforest the northern part is Orinoco River basin of grassland suitable for agriculture. This region is also home to the largest lake 
Tota. The coastal region for the most part is made of broad lower land with extensive swamps. The La Guajira Peninsula on the Caribbean coast is desert. There is also an isolated mountain group contain highest point of Colombia, Pico Cristobal Colon. It reaches about 5730 meters, but Pico Simon Bolivar is virtually the same height. Colombia isn't just diverse in its animal and plant life, it is unique. Over 9100 species can only be found in Colombia, from cotton top tamarind to Amazon river dolphins. There are many interesting animal that don't exist anywhere else in the world. Get this. Colombia is the number one most biodiverse country in birds. Number two in plant life, fish and amphibians. Number three in palm trees and reptile. And number four in mammals. If you love nature, this is the place to experience it. Next, we are going to check out the climate. Colombia has various climate zones. Savannah is hot year round with the temperatures about 28 degrees Celsius. It is dry from December to April and rainy from May to November. Rainforest is hot and rainy all year round with temperatures closer to 26 degrees Celsius. In the north, La Guajira Peninsula is dry. Precipitation is below 300 millimeters and the temperatures ranges from 32 to 36 degrees Celsius. Andes region climate changes significantly with altitude. Daytime high at 2500 meters is 20 degrees Celsius, 4000 meters is 9 degrees Celsius and above 5000 meters is below zero. Many of these peaks are covered in snow year-round. The area where Colombia is right now has been inhabited since 12,500 BCE by various tribes of hunter-gatherers and farmers. The two main civilizations are Terranos and Muscus people. They had an organized society ruled by a chief. Spanish explorers led by Rodrigo de Bastida arrived in 1500 and founded the first settlement of Santa Marta in 1525. Few years later in 1538, Bogota was founded and became a capital in 1717 for the Spanish region including today's Colombia, Ecuador, Panama and Venezuela. In the 16th century, European slave traders brought enslaved Africans to Americas that include Colombia. Colombia declared independence from Spain on July 20th, 1810 and formed the Republic of Greater Colombia with Ecuador, Panama and Venezuela in 1819 with military hero Simon Bolivar as their first president. In 1830, Grand Colombia dissolved when Venezuela and Ecuador split off. Civil war between the political parties called the War of Thousand Days started in 1899. This was partly due to United States of America's interference in the region over Panama Canal construction. The war ended with Panama separating from Colombia. Eventually, in 1921, United States paid $25 million to Colombia as compensation for splitting Panama and to recognize Panama as an independent country. Killing of presidential hopeful Gaitana in 1948 ignited the second major civil war that lasted nine years. In the mid-1970s, Colombian drug cartels became major producers and exporters of illegal drugs, primarily marijuana and cocaine. They supplied 62% of the world cocaine majority of them went to United States, according to PBS. In the 80s, war against drug cartel took full force. In 1993, Pablo Escobar, a drug cartel leader, shot to death while trying to evade arrest. This was a devastating time for Colombians. About 8 million Colombians permanently left the country since the mid-80s. United States provided $1 billion in military support to fight drug cartels. After years of peace talk, riots, hostage negotiations, hostage release, and ceasefire, a peace deal was signed between the Revolutionary Armed Forces and the government in 2016. 
formally ending their 52 years of armed conflict most gorilla fighters accepted the terms of the peace agreement and handed in their weapons but few disagreed with the deal and refused to disarm certain parts of the country still experience some violence but for the most part it is peaceful and safe colombia is doing much better now and about 2 million people have returned home now let's look at colombian people people and culture colombians are known as a determined optimistic positive hopeful creative friendly and enthusiastic people they are quick to smile at even the people they never met colombia's population is about 50 million and 40 million of them live in urban areas in the western part of the country colombians are multicultural made up of many ethnic groups the largest group is whites and mestizos mestizos are descendant of european and native people This group account for about 86% of the population. The next largest group is black. They account for about 9% of the population. This include mulattoes, raisal and palangay people. Amerindians are the third largest group at 4%, a small group of Romani, Indo-Aryan people also called Colombia home. Catholicism is a dominant religion practiced by 90% of the population. About 80% of them are Roman Catholic. As such, many of the public holidays have religious meaning. Some 5% of the population is atheist, while the 4% believe in God but don't follow any specific religion. 1% of the population is mix of many religion, including Jehovah Witnesses. Official language is Spanish. It is the second largest Spanish speaking country after Mexico. 65 indigenous languages are also recognized. About 850,000 people speak native language. Colombian culture is similar to other Latin American countries with some special elements. Spanish colonial era has left a lasting influence in Colombian society. Even though indigenous population was decimated, some elements live on in Colombian customs, music and language. The landscape of Colombia make interaction between the regions very difficult. It help foster regionalism. Colombia has lower level of solidarity and social trust. Most limit their social bonding to families and small social circle. Some of the unifying factors are religion, language and football. In order to increase nationalism, it is mandatory for radio and public television to play national anthem every day at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Colombians are obsessed with football or soccer, depends on how you call it. When their national team plays, the country goes crazy. Most of the population, regardless of age, play soccer. Another popular game is Tejo. Similar to Hoshu, when you throw a metal disc into a pipe 60 feet away. The interesting thing is that pipe surrounded by little firecrackers that goes off when the disc meets the contact. It is Colombia's original game. Carnivals are also an opportunity for people to come together and celebrate. Festival goers take the street for parade, dancing and celebrating all that it's meant to be a Colombian. As with many Latin countries, music is also very important in Colombian culture. Colombian food is very flavorful with fresh ingredients. It is varied from region to region. Most popular dishes are sancocho, a type of soup, arapa, sort of sandwich and bandeja paisa, a traditional meat platter. Colombian coffee is famous around the world. 12% of the world supply of Arabica coffee comes from Colombia. Colombians also love their coffee. They drink it hot and cold. They also have chocolatey coffee, fruity coffee and nutty ones and every combination of flavor you can imagine. including a lemonade coffee if you ever go to colombia at least try one cup of weird wonderful flavor coffee that they have let's check the last section of this video colombia has experienced historic economic boom over the last decade now it is the 31st largest economy with a gdp of about 780 billion us dollars 
Colombian economy is diverse. Many industries contribute to its GDP, including mining, social services, manufacturing, and services. Colombia has the fastest growing information technology industry in the world and has the longest fiber optic network in Latin America, which attracts digital nomads and expats to the country. Tourism has been increasing before the COVID pandemic. Colombia is expecting to host over 15 million visitors next year when the pandemic is over. Colombia is still strong in agriculture. It is the third largest exporter of coffee after Brazil and Vietnam and one of the five biggest producers of avocado and palm olive and one of the 10 largest producers of sugarcane, banana, pineapple and cacao. This I didn't know this. This was a surprise to me. Colombia is the second largest flower exporter after Netherlands. United States alone orders 4 billion roses every year. Colombia has a thriving mining industry. It has the largest coal reserve in Latin America. Estimated petroleum reserve is about 3 billion barrels. It also has significant amount of nickel, gold, silver, platinum and emerald. Actually, 70 to 90 percentage of world emerald come from Colombia. Colombian emeralds are on high demand because of its deep, bright green queue. Another interesting industry is shipbuilding. It has the largest shipbuilding industry outside of Asia. Colombia's main trade partners are United States, China, Mexico, Brazil, Germany and Panama. Colombia has the fastest growing economy in Latin America and second in the world after China. So Colombia's economic future is looking great. How do you like Colombia video? Did you learn anything new? I hope I gave you enough information to have a full understanding of the country without visiting it of course. Um, if you have any question put it in the comment. I will try and answer the best I could. The next country is going to be Venezuela. I hope you are excited to learn about this country. Even though it's going through some hard times right now, it's an amazing country to explore. If you are watching this, you must like learning about other countries. So please give me a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel so we can explore every single country in the world. Thank you for watching. We will meet again in the next video.